Jackson Smith, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what my art and creativity mean to me. Ever since I can first remember, I've been an artist and a musician. And my first uh, instrument, and my primary instrument, was the piano. And I'm going to play a little something on the piano for you. Guitar 
much later on, and uh, possibly my most famous instrument is my green violin. Uh, but the piano will always be my primary instrument. It allows me to express the full range of my uh, feeling and expression. And the other uh, type of art I do is various kinds of uh, visual arts. And I have some examples behind me. And this is a, a painting I did of a, a grand piano not too long ago using oil pastels. And it demonstrates my love for the piano and my artistic talent at the same time. If you look really close, you can see my rendition of the green violin that I mentioned a few minutes ago. Uh, over the years, I have developed my artistic talent. My original form of art is a drawing with pencils and ink, and later on, colored pencils. In recent years, as I began studying cranial facial development and cranial facial anomalies at King's College, London, and then later on at the University of California, San Francisco, I discovered a wonderful way that I could use my artistic talent in the service of the cranial facial medical and scientific community. Back in 2011, I got a hold of my uh, some old pictures of old CT scans of my skull with Treacher Collins syndrome and uh, using my best uh, and guesses and my artistic ability, I made this rough sketch of my skull as a child as uh, showing the characteristics of Treacher Collins syndrome, including the open orbits a lack of cheekbones, and no TMJ, and severe upper and lower jaw deformities. And related to that, I more recently had drew this sketch of the upper airway uh, obstruction in Treacher Collins syndrome for one of my uh, recent lectures on the upper airway in Treacher Collins syndrome. And for some of my, uh, this is a, a drawing showing how, which of the bones of the skull and where they originate. The blue area uh, originates from the neural press cells of the embryo, and it's where most of the cranial facial anomalies originate, and the other half of the skull originates in the paraxial mesoderm of the embryo. So I drew this for uh, a recent uh, chapter that I have contributed to an upcoming book on Treacher Collins Syndrome. So these are just examples of how I have 
in contributing my artistic ability to the service of the cranial facial scientific and medical uh, community. So, in short, uh, my artistic uh, talents and creativity are a gift from my creator, God, uh, who made me the way I am, and I, through my uh, anatomical drawings that I just showed you, I can celebrate the way I was fearfully and wonderfully made, according to Psalm 139, verse 14, and my and my musical ability is my expression of praise to the same Creator God. And my expression of myself in, in this world. I, I hope that you've been able to get a little bit of an idea of how my creativity and art and music contribute to my life and my work and my message of acceptance and self-love.